when you're looking at data, it is important that you're able to identify whether there are any outliers or not. Now, there are a couple of different ways of finding outliers. And the first one to really look at is when you are considering uh, the lower quartile, upper quartile, and interquartile range. So if you've calculated those already, then we should be able to work out whether there are any outliers or not. So let's say that we have our data, and I don't know, it's spread out in such a way that something like that. And what we've done is we have calculated the median. We have calculated the upper quartile, which may be something like there. And we've calculated the lower quartile. Okay, And we need to determine whether there are any bits of data which may be regarded as outliers. And why would you need that? Well, the real thing is that ultimately, is there data that perhaps you can ignore or um, you can think of it as, is there data that is in the extremes, okay? Is there anything that we need to take into account? So how do we actually work it out? What is a reasonable distance away from the lower quartile and upper quartile in order to count it as an outlier? Well, we know that we can calculate the interquartile range, the IQR, by having the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. It gives you the distance of that gap between the lower quartile and the upper quartile. Okay? So what we do is we say that beyond this point, we will count anything that is outside as an outlier. Okay? And that point is the upper quartile plus... 1.5 times the interquartile range. Okay? Beyond that point, we will count those bits of data as outliers. We will also count as outliers any bit of data which is beyond the lower quartile take away 1.5 times the interquartile range. So these give you effectively two boundaries. The majority of the data should be well between those two data points. But there may well be some other data outside of that. And therefore, if they are, we can count them as outliers.